What's up? Today we're doing a movie reaction, and since it's one of those sorts of movies, those cool movies, I'm starting it off with the sunglasses on. It just feels like a sunglasses type movie. Like, I'm pretty sure Tom Cruise wears sunglasses a lot, so this is a sunglasses type of intro. Uh, we're doing Mission Impossible 2. So two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, we did the... Oh, it actually might have been... Three, three weeks? No, two weeks ago. Two weeks sounds right. Um, we did Mission Impossible 1, and it was my first time seeing Mission Impossible um, as a franchise properly, and uh, I had a good time. I enjoyed it. It was nice and stressful. There were some good little like twists and turns in them. There were some good action scenes. Overall, it was an enjoyable movie. Um, so now, today, we are going to be doing the second film. Now, what I know about the second film is that most people consider this to be the weakest of the franchise. It's weird going into a reaction when, when people say stuff like that. Um, and I don't just mean like people in my comments, I mean like the greater public. Like I've seen people say that the second one might be the weakest one. Um, and I sort of uh, am ready for that. But at the same time, I don't think I've ever heard people say like, oh, Mission Impossible 2 is terrible. Like, I don't know what it's going to be like. And I'm also the sort of person that I tend to uh, enjoy things uh, a lot more. <laughs> I tend to like be pretty forgiving of a lot of stuff. So, um, so I'm, I'm excited to get into it regardless. I'm curious to see what sort of thing they do in a Mission Impossible 2 and how they're going to continue this, uh, you know, the, this trend of having an impossible mission, <laughs> you know? Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I wonder, I wonder what it's going to be about. I, I really have no idea. I mean, they, I imagine they don't do the exact same type of plot again. And I imagine it's a legitimate sequel where it's, we're still following Ethan Hunt. Is that his name? Um, I'm just going to take these glasses off now. <laughs> um, so I imagine, yeah, we're, we're doing a proper sequel. But, um, but yeah, for the most part, I want to get the full Mission Impossible experience, so I want to watch all the Mission Impossible movies, and, uh, and so to do that, I, I must watch Mission Impossible 2 to make sure I get all of them, but I'm really excited for the later ones in the franchise where people say they get, uh, really good. So, anyway, uh, we're gonna be jumping into this. Please, if you can, and you, if you like this video and you like my reactions, please make sure to support the video, liking and commenting and subscribing, all that stuff really, really helps me out. I also have a p Patreon account, so if you wanna watch the full-length reaction, the entire movie with me, um, you can just, with your own footage, you can go to Patreon and check that out, um, and you can also get early access and exclusive videos for other stuff on my channel, so it's definitely worth it. There's also a VIP tier if you want to support me extra and also be able to request a reaction from me that I will do, but if you request it, I will do it on my VIP tier. So, um, anyway, that should be it. Uh, we're going to jump into Mission Impossible 2. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's just do it. Here we go. The Sydney Opera House. I live in Australia. I don't live in Sydney. I don't, actually, I don't love Sydney that much. Must begin with something that every hero requires. What the heck? A villain. Chimera. What? <laughs> this is not how I... Come to Sydney and accompany me. How I expected this to start. Suppose I'm a bit anxious. You'll soon be with all friends. That look, those seats I'm look comfortable. Old now, Dmitri. Relax. There's nothing to worry about. Strange. What if? Just put on your oxygen. There's like chloroform in the oxygen masks. <laughs> Could be. Oh my god, they are! You keep calling me Dimitri. Uh-huh. You really shouldn't. <laughs> you are not Dimitri. Oh! God damn. Hold on to this. Oh! Okay. Remember the pool at N02 tank and dump? <laughs> Changing the voice? That's awesome. Man, Mission Impossible and pulling your face off. I love it. Pull 
This movie genuinely looks like 10 years more modern than the previous movie to me. And it was only like four years later. I don't know what it is. I'm not a movie buff, so... Well, this is just absolutely awful. What a terrifying thing to do. Oh my god! Don't do that! Jesus! Ah! Oh! Holy shit! I'm not even like afraid of heights or anything, but I'm afraid of fucking dying, and this is basically dying. Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's such a stressful <laughs> scene. It's just him climbing. It's him climbing with no stakes because I know nothing's gonna happen to him there in the establishing shot of the film, but still stressful as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a weird movie so far. You have 48 okay. hours to recruit Miss Nordorf Hall and meet me in Seville to receive your assignment. As always, I have to get her on my side? I will let you know where I'm going. I won't be on holiday. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying this, but it's just so funny that this is very action movie. Like, the first one had a pretty, like, restrained beginning to it. And this one is, like, this one's, uh, leaning hard into the, into the classic action movie formula. In fact, it may have been one of the movies to establish this action movie formula. That's a cool little transition, though. Is that Naya? Oh, here she goes. Going into Catwoman mode. Ah. Oh, little secret compartment. I see you found it. Oh. That was the test. <laughs> oh no. What if he wants to take a bath? Oh my god. Hello. Do you mind if I'm on top? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> like, this is a distracting scene. What an introduction to this character. His ex's bulgari necklace, it goes up. That angle is just like down on her boobs. <laughs> it's just tilted down directly on her boobs. You know when people make fun of anime for how sexualized it is unnecessarily? Well, that's just convenient, actually. No. I'm not going to make fun of that. Who that's where I'd put it as well. <laughs> the zoom! That's great. Miss Hall. Mm -hmm. Haven't you forgotten? Yeah. Give back the necklace. Why did you watch me go through it? I want to see how good you were. I was hoping we might work together. Well, she isn't that good. She got caught. <laughs> not really. I triggered the alarm. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry. Maybe she isn't that bad then. He's just too good. Oh, Motorola. Wow. Hola. It really is 2000. Hi. Well, if you want me, you gotta catch me. Uh, he can. He just tracked you down pretty easily. He'd be able to catch you at some point. Even if it wasn't right now. You're having fun? Man, Ethan Hunt is like grinning this entire movie so far. It almost feels like a different character. I guess he was so stressed in the first movie because everyone he knowed died. Knowed? Everyone he knew. Oh my god. I have an English degree. Oh, I think he just saved her. By ramming her there, he stopped her from going off the edge. What is this scene? What, like the choice of music and slow-mo shots is very strange. I'll only help you up if you agree to be on our mission. Okay, never mind. 
What's your name? Get out of the cars first. Move far That's away fine. from the cliff. We'll leave them home. All right, they fucked. Good. <laughs> now, is he going to ask her about the job? <laughs> or is he just going to continue to chase this woman down and flirt with her, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Tell her about the job. <laughs> I don't know if he already has. Maybe I, maybe he did and I missed it. I mean, these two kind of have good chemistry, you know, a little bit. And I mean, she's very attractive. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying the scenes from a base masculine level. As we say, I'm sorry. And you are sorry. So are they going to think he's... Do you have any idea what the hell he's talking he's about? He's a double agent yeah. again. Yeah. When I couldn't find you, I had to replace you. Sean Ambrose was the obvious choice. No, no, no. I forgot to write down the name of Ella the guy Nichols. they're talking about. <laughs> Damn it. This too. Now, in case you must recover this, uh, whatever, Chimera, and... Um... Bring it to us. Okay, they don't think he was a he was a double agent. Or do they have to figure out how he plans to make money with it? Hmm. We believe she's our shortest and quickest way of locating him. I and then what? see. Sound as if I was recruiting her for her skills as a thief. <laughs> yeah. Well then, I well, misled you, or you made the wrong assumption. Well, you kind of auditioned her for her asking her to resume her <laughs> sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give her many oh, thief yeah, things, and instead, uh. No. Seduce her a lot. She's a woman. She's got all the training she needs. That's a weird line. <laughs> I guess it's funny. Right. Okay, is she on board? That looks like an on-board smile. Damn! Who puts out a candle like that? But it is what you'd like me to do. I think she's totally okay with doing this. I think it's only him who has what? discomfort. Oh, let my conscience be my guide. Personal as well as physical. Okay, okay. Would it make you feel any better if I didn't want you to do this? Yeah, much. Then feel better. Okay. I guess this is why they spent so long doing those establishing scenes with those two, getting a relationship and all of that, because you need this scene. Something I can always arrange. Okay, yeah. This transponder chip is basically what you said you'd keep her away from. Ugh. He transmits you look. He knows you're there. And he has the means to get you out. Oh shit! Is he gonna? Well, yeah. I say. I guess the they said he wanted to take her back. You know. No. So he'll do it for her. I'm not gonna lose you. I like the establishing shots of the Australian outback. William Baird, but Billy's okay. Anything you need me to get, move away. <laughs> An Aussie man. <laughs> Good eye, mate. Shit. And Luther, of course. Uh. It's okay. She's walking very slowly towards him. I was thinking the scarf looks like it was about to fall off. Hey. Now there's a bloke who knows how to give a proper welcome. I don't give me wrong, mate. You, you, were, you were very friendly also. <laughs> because we don't know what he's got. Where he's got it. I'll tell you, I like William a hell of a lot more than I liked the, uh, the guy who was helping them in the first movie. The guy who wasn't Luther who killed the rat. I left in a bit of a hurry. We just rolled up a snowball and tossed it into hell. Now we'll see what chance it has. She'll be right. Try it on. So far, I don't feel like this is that dangerous. I mean, how hard can it be to seduce this guy who wants her back I'm anyway? To see if I remember your size. You can't keep changing your face every time you turn around. He's going to see one of them, or one of his guards is going to be like, every time she looks away from you, she frowns. Later. All right, time to get under those sheets, baby. Do they have to be in the middle of the outback? <laughs> this is what the rest of Australia that's not within a mile of the Sydney Opera House looks like. I think Nikorovich created a monster virus in Chimera. 
the antivirus to kill it. Yeah. In Bellerophon. That's what I imagined it was. That's simple, huh? Create a disease so that you can sell the cure, I imagine. Why do you think she's really young? Okay, it's gonna be the men that are suspicious. You don't exactly hang on Naya's every word and gesture, do you? Why would he? It's a fairly ratty nail, man. Huh? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's doing this because he Please. dared to question her? Some sort of... Why should I deny myself the pleasure of a ride or two? Oh. Ah. Wait. This is no reason to chop someone's finger off. She can't. Because you. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Why did you do that? To the man when you're saying you know what you're probably right <laughs> you know what you're probably right that she is probably a spy but I'm gonna chop off your fucking finger for saying it or for questioning me in the fourth <laughs> check her out she's due <laughs> nice nice and subtle <laughs> it's a big white slip of paper <laughs> I thought they were gonna have it hidden in code within the text that she would, but she's not like a an agent. She's just a thief. So I guess this is a way you're gonna communicate with her because you're out in public. So when you're in private, you can't exactly be like whispering to him on a phone or whatever. Naya. Naya Ambrose is on his way back to you. You're gonna have to pickpocket him. His left jacket pocket. Okay, that's that is something that that's right. will be within her skill set. There you are. <laughs> she just yeah, reaches in wait. right away and grabs well, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she kind of did. That was very quick. <laughs> Hold on. This is a fake out. This is a fake out. Ooh. I like these parts of her. By these parts of her, I don't mean her ass. I mean the thieves. The thieving bits. Um, why does it, that door said push and it was a pull door? That door said push. Don't turn around. You turn around. What are you gonna do? Spank me. What is this movie? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. That's awful. Absolutely awful. I'm coming in and getting you out Oh no. Get out of there. Oh, did he notice that? Oh, I think he noticed that one. And he pretended not to. Shit. Shit! My right jacket pocket. Oh. Oh. Oh, but it was in his left originally, so did she accidentally put it in his right one? We've got an opportunity here. Kind of clever of them to make us remember the left jacket pocket because he was like, confirm, left jacket pocket, and he had to confirm it. So it stuck in our heads as, okay, it's in the left one. That's kind of creepy. Oh my god, this is actually... Pretty uh, scary way to kill someone. <laughs> there you go. Are you okay? Yeah, I am now. Get out of there first, then embrace. Okay, good. Nothing to worry about. Crashed on the plane. You're dead. Is this a disguise or a hallucination? Pull off your face. Well. Pull off your face. There we go. I've heard. Is this? Is this actually Ethan? Very soon. Pull off your face. Pull off your face. Do it. There we go. Okay. Thought so. Yeah, he's feeling annoyed and betrayed and. But. They said he was like the one that we know this he could much. moonlight as, gets on a plane as Ethan. The center for disease control in it. I don't know if He's moonlight the virus. Is it the word? Good. 
then we know where it'll be, don't we? Damn, you're very hurt by this. He invariably favors misdirection over confrontation. Mm -hmm. You'll never break into biocide from the bottom where security is heavy. Okay, here we get into the impossible Overwatch mission, agencies. I imagine. Ethan, we have a total of 40 seconds to get you in <laughs> and the cables up. 40 seconds? No, security is minimal. Oh, and he'll he knows engage in some aerobatic insanity before he'll be <laughs> farming a hair on a security guard. That's head. true. That's exactly what he'd do. Okay. It is kind of interesting having the villain who knows so much about him and like totally gets his MO. Okay, if they don't open, you're just gonna slam into it, aren't you? Jeez. Oh! That was a close one. Oh, jeez! What if he takes. 22, 21. What if he just takes 20 seconds just... Seconds to clear the cable. Oh my gosh. Come on. Yep, nice. Well, was that the hardest part of the mission? Or the impossible part of the mission? In the inoculation chamber, holding the last remaining Chimera virus in a three injection guard. Okay, so if, uh... What's he his name? Sean to destroy the virus in those knows guys. about all this stuff. What's he gonna do? He knows Sean's and not Sean. Uh, he knows uh, Ethan's entire plan. Where is she? In the building. Say it again, mate. <laughs> Sounds like you say she's in the building. <laughs> I am. She is. Uh, the bloody hell she doing there for, eh? Likely. Yeah. Well, when's that? Not for another five and a half minutes. He's on his own. Good, right? That's a good thing. Hope he kills all the bugs before the yellow dot gets to the red one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. Especially when he doesn't know that they're coming, right? So obviously he'd be trying to be quick just because he's breaking in somewhere, but he's probably going to be careful just so that he makes sure he does it right, not knowing anyone's coming. Unless he does know people are coming and we as a audience don't know that he knows. I was like to know they needed to be treated with the marathon within 20 hours. What realization are you having? Oh my god. Oh wow, they're just... I mean, honestly, good... Good on them. Smart of them to just like start shooting immediately. Instead of like calling it out, having a monologue, whatever. They're just straight up shooting him. Oh, that that's lucky that he sees that reflection. Oh my god. Oh! I think he got out of there. I'm pretty sure he would have. Otherwise, why would you have shown him seeing the timer if he didn't get out of there? Oh! He couldn't quite get it, right? Damn. They're gonna talk? Come on, have a chat. Have a classic villain hero chat. Well, Hunt. Yeah, here we go. You know, that was the hardest part of having to portray you. Grinning like an idiot every 15 minutes. Ah, okay. Pressing need of yours to get your gun off. I kind of appreciate that you were they point out that he grinned so much. You never figured out where Chimera really was. While you were knocking them off, destroying the very thing you came for. <laughs> Damn, nice. <laughs> He's been slipping you our mail. <laughs> Come on over here, you bad girl. Oh no, she's gonna be a hostage, isn't she? Shit. She doesn't belong here. Let her go. And did Ethan think she be got out? Be like, be here. she's. If Ethan said to her to hunt. leave, so he probably thought she left already. Balls in your court, hunt. All right, all right. Okay, yeah. Luther definitely got it. in the building. Do you copy? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Luther. <laughs> okay, this is the best scene of the movie so far. Can she do something? Can she, like, sleight of hand Daddy, something? Daddy, shoot you the minute he's got it. Like monkeys they are. <laughs> Won't let go of one branch till they get a grip on the next. I feel like every 
Every time they want us to dislike a villain, they make them a misogynist. It works. Is she going to inject him with it or something? Or is she just going to destroy it and let herself die? Oh! Oh, shit! All right, to inject herself! Oh, my God. Ha! <laughs> well, they actually kind of can't kill her, right? She's made it so that, like, she has 20 hours. But if they kill her, they lose that part of the virus, don't they? Because she's worth 37 <laughs> Nice. She just trying to stop you from getting hurt. You were thinking actually, that was a good plan. You don't have a conscience. It was clever. I, you know you don't have a choice. Just do it. Mm. No, do I feel like you'll find a way to get you out and, and cure you. I don't think he's gonna kill you. I think if you were gonna die, they would have killed you in that scene before. Hours and fifty eight minutes. Yeah. I'll get Bellerophon into your sister before then. <laughs> so, he's leaving her because they're going to take her because they need to get the virus out of her to keep. And he's just going to try to come back and cure her. <laughs> what are you going to do, huh? I mean, he could actually beat the shit out of her, sadly. As long as he doesn't kill her. Oh, she can beat the shit out of him. Well done. What do you mean? Unless we dose her with Bellerophon, then I will kill herself. So first things yeah. first. Nice. What? Oh my god. Damn! Was that flip necessary? Oh my god, you just kicked him off a cliff? Is that where he's going? Oh. Did he actually snap his neck there or did he just spin him? Oh. I, I think he just spun him because he ended up knocking his head against the ground to knock him out. I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys are Australian. Which makes sense, they're in Sydney, right? Simon. Simon. Stay here, mate. Stock options to be... A little more precise. I guess that makes sense. You can be even more rich. Oh god, this guy's getting his anger. Three million people in Sydney and 17 million people in Australia are going to need Bellerophon within the next few days. Oh no, I'm one of those people. Oh no. Oh, I would hate to run through birds like this. Oh, guy oh, did another flip. God damn, that was a crazy flip. There we go. He's coming through the flaming door. Oh, I like seeing the fire and the reflection in his eyes. That's cool. Run. He just walks past the down. door. He blew the door open just to get their attention so he could walk past it dramatically. Yeah, it's a dove. It's not him. <laughs> it's a dove. It's not him. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get out of there! Go. My God. Whew. Sean. Imagine seeing that much money in your bank account. Oh, can you imagine? Oh. Oh. Probably smart to be honest. Immobilize him. Oh God. Stop. Mumbling. This is what's known as getting your gun off. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
He shot him a lot of times. None of them were in the head. But how would you survive that many gunshots? He didn't! He disguised Hugh as him, and he's disguised as Hugh, I imagine? That's really smart with the bandage. Oh. <laughs> That's why he was mumbling. That's great. <laughs> We're two for two on Mission Impossible movies having their best scenes be when someone pulls their face off. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, he's put his sunglasses on. Man, he does a lot of flips in this movie. I guess that's all, like, Ethan Hunt is very acrobatic. They pointed that out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Great job, Luther. Damn! He cleared that fucking bridge. I gotta say, I don't think I like this version of the Mission Impossible theme as much. I want the Mission Impossible theme to lean more into the down, 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 since that's a really catchy bit. But they're trying to do it like subtly. Alright, here we go. What are you gonna do here? I've got Naya. She's How much time do you have left? She's on the north head bluff approaching the cliffs, but I can't get a visual. Help me! She's only got a little time. What's left. what's a little time? Let me see the watch. Why is only he allowed to see the watch? <laughs> nice. Oh my god! Why did the entire thing explode like that and go and blow in half? What the hell? That's crazy. God damn, there's a lot of cars exploding in this movie. Oh my god. What the hell? He's using his bike as cover. Oh, he's doing it without looking. Or just looking at his rear view. Yeah, in his rear view. That's funny. Oh, he's just gonna slide under? Wait, oh no he didn't. I thought he was gonna slide under the truck. Uh oh, that ain't good. Oh, jeez! Oh, he just got stabbed by a rusty hood. Damn! That's like motorcycle trick shot things. That some professional stunt drivers do. Oh my god. What's he doing? Oh my god! Holy shit, they just tackle each other in midair? No gun. Oh, one gun, actually. Oh, is he reaching for the gun or is he reaching for a rock? A rock! Oh! Oh, she's gonna kill herself if they don't get her soon. And I mean, fair enough, it's apparently such a horrible disease that... Like, yeah, it would suck. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Oh, a centimeter away. Now he's got the knife. Go ahead. Use a hunt. A lot better than the way that bitch is gonna die. Oh, now he wants to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna kill him. Don't let him die. Just beat the shit out of him. My God. God damn! It's just a scene of Tom Cruise beating the shit out of this dude. Oh. Did he just die because he banged the back of his head against that rock? I think so. Oh, the helicopter's here. Is it because they saved her? Looks like it. I mean, she's alive. Oh, right. They, oh, yeah, he has the, I forgot that he had the 
antidote. So we need to get it to her. Oh no. Is he gonna shoot him? Or throw a knife? Uh. Shoot him. What, what are you gonna do? What if he pulled off his face and he was actually him? <laughs> that was actually Sean and it was Tom Cruise in the back. <laughs> yeah, he's got the gun. Do it. Oh God, he kicked the gun up into the air. That's pretty cool. Even though it's like cheesy, it's cool. Nice. Quick Luther. He's taking time to sit down. Good. All right. I think she's safe. Although, just in case it's still contagious, do not kiss her or anything. Just in case. I don't know if we know how this works. I'd kind of stay clear of her for a bit. This recovery, it subsequently got destroyed. By fire. It's the best way, really. <laughs> criminal record will certainly be expunged. That's I good. Don't. I'm assuming you approve. She'll also be given $783. Where is she now, by the way? Any idea? Back at back in my bed? I don't know. Not exactly. It wouldn't be a vacation if you did. Okay, he's going on vacation with her. He just went on vacation to Sydney. I feel like you, you two should have gone, you know, Iceland or something. <laughs> You guys spent enough time in Sydney. It's probably dramatic. Okay, that was Mission Impossible 2. That was a weird film. That was a very strange film, I feel like. Um, now, if you ask me whether I liked it or not, I don't know if I could tell you. Did I enjoy watching it? Yes, I enjoyed watching it. Would I ever watch it again? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know why I would ever watch it again. Um, it was just a weird movie, I feel like. There, I mean, there were there were some bits in it that I think uh, were pretty cool. There were a lot of bits in it that I thought were kind of dated a little bit. Just like, I, I'm not even talking about the... Um, I, I'm not even talking about like the, the fact that... Um, uh, Naya is like a is like a classic woman written by a man type type character. I'm not even really talking about that because I don't I don't really care about that too much generally. And um, and like that, even though I was making fun of it, it truly didn't bother me very much. But it was just like some of the filmmaking techniques and stuff. They were very like classic, like the action movie stuff that we make fun of now, you know, like a lot of slow-mo shots that are like low frame rate in this movie. Um, and like lots of weird explosions happening in certain bits and, um, you know, it was a bunch of stuff. But anyway, I don't really like love talking about like dwelling on things that I didn't like, um, in these sorts of movies. I thought overall, you know, it was, it was fine. It was perfectly enjoyable. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I wouldn't say it was a great movie. Um, but, you know, I had heard that people didn't like this one as much as the other Mission Impossibles. I don't think that changed my opinion of the movie overall. In fact, there were still some bits that I... I'm sorry about the dog barking. There were still some bits that I enjoyed, um, despite that. So, like, it's... It, it wasn't a... It wasn't a waste of time. I enjoyed the, the two hours that I spent with it. I'll say, like... The bit where he where he kicks up his gun at the very end as the final kill or whatever, that's a cool final kill, I think. I was thinking like how are they gonna make it like satisfying or interesting for him to kill him at this point? Um, but that's that's a cool way to do it, is having him kick up the gun. Um I I'll tell you, with Naya, um I I think I really liked the small the very small amounts of uh, times where her character got to actually be like a thief because that was the interesting part about her character they introduced her as a thief and then obviously the I this is this was sort of Tom Cruise's point as well he said to his higher up like you you uh, made me think I was hiring her for a thief skills but you're just hiring her because she's a, a woman who happens to be in uh, in the right 
uh, situation for this to work out, but it's like purely because she's she's a woman who could seduce him. Um, so like that was kind of the flaw of the upper management or whatever. Whatever, but I feel like they. Uh, I, I, f I think it still would have been interesting if they gave her some more of those cool things so that it, you know, it, it delved into that part of the character more. Because the part where she did... And here, here's also the problem. They made it so that, like, oh, th she's so good. She's a great thief and thieving's her, her greatest thing. Um, but they only showed her doing it in the opening scene where the alarm went off. Now, obviously, Tom Cruise set off the alarm, but she was also caught by Tom Cruise... I keep saying Tom Cruise, Ethan Hunt. She was caught by Ethan. So, I mean, she wasn't that good because Ethan, you know, saw her do it the entire way. And she also did something that theoretically could have set off an alarm anyway. But, I mean, I guess maybe the idea was she checked for alarms. There wasn't one there. Then she closed the box and then he set off the alarm and she thought she just missed it. So, I guess that was the idea there. But, so she, like, technically failed her first mission because she had to give it back. That, so that's the first thing we see of her on screen and she doesn't steal anything. And then she does the pickpocketing from the guy. And that's actually impressive because she pickpockets him, he doesn't notice. She also then has to like turn around and drop it into her hand. That was the coolest part of her character in the entire movie was when she like dropped it uh, quickly from like one hand to the other or whatever to hide, hide it behind her back. That was awesome. But then she fails when she's putting it back in his jacket and, and gets caught with that. So, like, three instances of her doing thievery stuff, and two of them she failed <laughs> in the movie. So, um, so it, it's kind of sad, because I would have liked to see some some more of that stuff. Um, but uh, but I, I did really enjoy that she had, like, the balls to inject herself with the, the virus. That's a good way to do that, that scene and make her um, a bit more interesting of a character that she's willing to do that sort of thing. And that she honestly was smart enough to think of that in the moment where like no one told her to do that, but she was like, Hey, if I inject myself, they can't kill me. They have to keep me alive so that they can get this virus and, and, uh, it'll help them get out of here. And it was a, it was a very, very clever move in the moment. I liked it. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, not much else to say about the movie. Um, Sean Ambrose was actually kind of a decent villain, I would say. I, I like the idea of him knowing a lot about Tom Cruise, about Ethan Hunt, and, uh, and exploiting that knowledge that he has of him, and there's, like, a familiarity there and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I liked that, that aspect of it. The actual plot itself of, like, there's a virus and... Uh, they're making the the cure to the virus and the virus that they can make money. That's kind of standard action movie plot type stuff. So uh, no huge surprises there. Um, and I mean, I liked William ba Baird or whatever his name was, the uh, the Aussie guy. And then he was like really not in the movie much. Uh, he had a few a few good lines or whatever, but I, I wanted a little bit more of him. I feel like. But anyway, um, that's Mission Impossible 2. We've completed the movie. We've finished it. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, hopefully, I will be moving on to Mission Impossible 3. If I do, uh, then you hopefully you'll stick around and watch it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you see when it comes up. Like the video and comment down below. And tell me if you do want me to continue with these Mission Impossible movies and if you liked them. And, and maybe if you do like this movie, like what you might like about it. I, I'm definitely open to hearing... Um, hearing a bunch of different opinions, or if you don't like this movie, like, why, why don't you like it, stuff like that. Um, I don't generally like to dwell on negativity on a piece of media at all, so that's why I'm not gonna, like, tear a movie to, th to shreds, even if I'm not, like, a huge fan of it. Um, but, again, I enjoyed watching the movie, and really, that's all that matters in the end, so I don't even care that I don't think it was a great movie overall. Uh, I think I sit down to watch things to have fun, and I had fun. So, thanks for watching. Uh, my Patreon account has full-length early access and exclusive videos that's worth doing and checking out. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.